let P be a rational polyhedron in Rn. Let script H sub P denote the set of rational half spaces containing P. We define P prime to be the intersection of the integer hull of H, where H runs through all the elements of script H sub P. Now, if we define P superscript 0 to be P, and P superscript T plus 1 to be P superscript T primed for all integers T at least 0, then we have the following chain of inclusions. And any of these here will contain the integer hull of P. We now look at a couple of results. The first result is the following. It basically says that there's a way to describe P prime with a system of linear inequalities. So suppose that P is the set of X in Rn satisfying A is greater than equal to B, where A is an M by N matrix with integer entries, and B is an M double with rational entries. If the system AX greater than or equal to B is TDI, then P prime is the set of X in Rn satisfying AX greater than or equal to the ceiling of B. So here, this is a vector obtained from B by taking the ceiling function on each entry of B. And perhaps the most important result concerning the prime operator is this theorem here. It says, if you apply the prime operator enough times, you will eventually get to the integer hull of P. We now look at a proof of this proposition. So the case when P is the empty set is easy. So we assume that P is non-empty. Now we are going to call this set Q. So we first show that P prime is a subset of Q. First, take an inequality A transpose X greater than equal to beta from the system AX greater than or equal to B. And we let H denote the half space defined by this inequality. Because the entries of A are integers, the integer hull of H is a subset of the set of X in Rn satisfying A transpose X greater than or equal to the ceiling of beta. Now P prime is a subset of the integer hull of H. We see that P prime is a subset of Q. To prove the reverse inclusion, we let U be an element of Q. And we take H to be a rational half space containing P. What we want to show is that U is in the integer hull of H. So say is given by the set of X in Rn satisfying C transpose X greater than or equal to beta for some n double c with integer entries and some rational number beta. And we may assume that c1 up to cn are relatively prime. Then by a previous result, the integer hull of h is given by the set of x in Rn satisfying c transpose x greater than or equal to the ceiling of beta. So in order to show that u is in hi, we just need to show that c transpose u is at least the ceiling of beta. Now, let p denote the problem of minimizing c transpose x subject to ax greater than or equal to b. Because h is a half space containing p, this inequality is valid for p, and so this problem is bounded. And since we assume that P is non-empty, this is not infeasible. So by the fundamental theorem of linear programming, this problem has an optimal solution. And we're going to let V denote the optimal value. And the optimal value is going to be at least beta. Because V is at least beta, we also have the ceiling of V, at least the ceiling of beta. And so to prove this, we we'll actually show that C transpose U is at least the ceiling of V. Now the dual of P is the following problem. Because this system is totally dual integral, the dual has an optimal solution that is integral. Now we look at C transpose U is the same as Y prime transpose 
times A, and that comes from here, times U, and A times U is at least the ceiling of B, because we assume that U is in Q, and since Y prime has no negative entries, this is at least Y prime transpose times the ceiling of B. But since the entries of Y prime are non negative integers, this is at least the ceiling of Y prime transpose times B. But Y prime transpose times B is precise the optimal value, which is V. And so C transpose U is at least the ceiling of V, and we are done.